Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. All right, so MXR Analog Chorus versus the JHS 3 Series uh, Chorus. And um, yeah, night and day difference between the two of them for bells and whistles, right? Um, MXR will support a battery, JHS will not. Um, if you want to get a battery eliminator that plugs into the back, you can do that with any pedal right and still have a battery it just kind of looks ugly um, but as far as internal wise the MXR will support an internal 9 volt battery but the JHS will not and there's about roughly um, 20 or 30 dollar price difference between the two of them the JHS of course being the cheaper and MXR being the more expensive and uh, I do have a JHS reverb pedal which I'm still kind of tweaking a little bit but I do own it and uh, I do like it I just gotta find that real nice little sweet spot and then take a picture with my camera so that I don't ever lose that spot when I'm using the thing uh, for any kind of gigging because uh, yeah once you dial something in it's like ah oh, I need it back so uh, features we have uh, low and high cut level rate and depth on the MXR on the chorus we literally have a volume it's not level it is literally volume if you turn it to zero you get no sound okay you also have of course just rate depth and you have this vibe switch um, that does some funky stuff too um, and it's kind of like well that's kind of interesting but is it really useful to us to some maybe to me absolutely not but um, we're going to test them side by side and see what you guys think so i've set the rate and the depth um, to approximately the same angles at least uh, or level angles to uh, the MXR so that we can see how close they are relatively together that way um, and of course we'll play with the switch here because we get to um, the volume of course I've got it at half but it's only because it's the only way to match the exact same output levels as what this is set to this is level which affects the effect not the volume level um, where this is a volume out which is kind of, um, I don't get it. But hey, it is what it is. So um, I'm using my uh, Telecaster um, Squire Affinity. And uh, this is my clean on my, my bridge. Keep this video short, we're just gonna stay on the bridge. We are going through my Blackstar HT5, which now has an 8 ohm speaker in it. So wonderful that I get all that five watts. All right, so. One more time. That's clean. We'll start with the JHS. is the timing of the rate. It's a little quicker on the JHS. Now here's that volume thing. Zero. So all it does is control volume pushing more to the amp, eh? So let's go at 12 o'clock position on rate and depths. We don't have to do a whole lot here, but... And we're listening for that wah-wah sound, right? this switch actually that 
that slows it down a little bit. Yeah, really close there. Try something here. Well, you know, they're pretty close to each other, even though you don't get the low and high cut um, on the JHS, you do get this vibe mode that you can turn on and off, and it does give you that little bit of extra functionality. Um, so if we look at the rate... But we want a chorus effect. We don't want ring moddy sounds. We don't want tremolo-y sounds. You know, we want that, that nice balanced chorus. And I honestly, myself, I, I'm definitely sold now on the MXR only because the amount of rate differences. Um, also, the, the simple fact of you do have a, uh, a low and a high cut. You know, you're paying a little bit extra for the MXR, but you're getting way more for your money that's useful tools, where this to me is really not all that useful with this switch. Um, also, this is volume, it's not a leveler, okay? Which are totally different from each other, right? This is gonna put more front end to the amp and make things louder, where the level on the MXR is gonna work with the rest of your circuit. Um, so it's gonna better the the sound or better the effect, right? Volume doesn't really better the effect, it just pushes more to your amp and creates higher volume at lower volume on your amp. So really, to be honest, between the two of them, um, yep, they're both pedals where I can get this for 100 because you know it's a used pedal, I can get this for $10 cheaper because it's been rented a few times. This also supports a battery, this does not. That could be a make it or break it for some people. To me, it's not a make it or break it. I have a battery eliminator, which is fine. Um, but at the same time, I'm not overly picking on the fact of one can do a battery, one cannot do a battery. It's more of what that overall effect does. What can it do for me? What doesn't, what doesn't it do, right? Um, I, I have to look at too, as far as, you know, turning the knobs is, pretty easy on this these are really nice and stiff so they hold their placement much better okay uh, so i do like those for differences this is volume i don't need to push more to the front end of my amp i need a level control that's going to work with my effect right to give me the amount of that actual effect um, more so balanced out where this doesn't balance anything that's just volume um, Yes, I do have the option for a throughput to go clean out the other side of the MXR. I really don't need that feature, okay? But it has it there. The JHS does not. Who really cares, right? Um, 
but I think when it comes to your effects pedals, you have to look at what can it do for you. It's kind of like my my delay pedal that I've got here, the ARP 87. That so far has been like the ultimate delay pedal that I've found in my world uh, of being the ultimate delay pedal for my purposes and the fact that it can actually do everything I need it to do and then some, you know, so that's a really good choice of a pedal for me. Um, you can choose from either one of these. It's completely up to you, but I would think that the MXR would be the better one of the two uh, for anybody and, um, you know, it, it's it's what you're looking for for features. The bottom line is features. We're not putting scores on these things. I've done reviews on both. You can score the reviews. I do like them both, yes. Um, I just, I like the MXR so much better. It has so much better control, better rate and depth circuitry. It actually has a level that, you know, works with the effect as opposed to a volume control that's just pushing things out louder or quieter uh, type of thing. And that can monkey with the rest of your chain too. You know, especially when you're working with other pedals that, you know, they have level, some levels, yes, they do push out more to the front end and that's fine. You need to find that balance point because what you do on one affects another down the chain and so on. Um, it can be a disaster or it can be a work of art. You know, it's kind of wherever you're at with that thing, right? Um, but, um, my opinion is Pro MXR and possibly the JHS. Now, if MXR was not the option, of course, and I had to choose between a JHS and a Fender, I would have to most certainly take the Fender because uh, it definitely has a lot more feature capabilities, etc. Um, if I had to choose between those, if I didn't have the MXR, but putting the MXR to the JHS and even, yes, the Fender all together, because we have those three options, um, I would still be pro MXR in this case. You know, I, I really... I really appreciate that low and high cut because it works great with acoustic guitars where you really need it. Because um, let's face it, even EQs on acoustic guitars aren't always the best either, um, you know, for a, an acoustic electric. Um, but at the same time with a regular electric, if you need to really calm down that shrill um, more so and, you know, to work the balance with your, your shrilly end of your other pedals, um, this will help balance things out too if you're using the course effect at the same time. So I don't know. It's kind of a weird mixture, but that's that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below what you thought of them, which one you like better, um, and where we go. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.